Hey guys, it's Sasha. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today I am so excited to bring you all October's Zodiac Game of TBR. October? <laughs> what? No, no, no. I don't know why I said October. I guess I'm excited for October. Um, <laughs> welcome to August. Zodiac Wheel of TBR for August. Here is Toby. He has been extremely needy today, so let's give him some attention. Here you go, Toes, you're in the video. What do you think? What do you think? You don't know? <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit late this month, but nonetheless, I am still posting it and still excited about it. So for the month of August, it is Leo season. So we will put the board on Leo. In regards to the books that I hope to get to this month, I really, really want to pick up some of the Booker Prize long list. I did a whole video where I kind of reacted to and went through the entire Booker Prize. So I will link that video for you down below um, so you can see which books I'm most interested in, which ones I hope to get to this month and a little bit next month before the shortlist is announced um yeah i just really want to read some really great literary fiction so i'm excited about that so i'm definitely going to try to fit some of those into these prompts i'm going to do four spins because i like having options i really like that idea if you've never seen this game before i will go ahead and link the playlist down below it is very easy to follow along so yeah let's go ahead and do the first spin let us put this on leo it is leo season and let's do the first spin, okay. Ooh, Capricorn, okay, nice, let's see. Capricorn, doing the most. <laughs> Read a book about, about an ambitious slash determined character, hmm. All right, so for our first spin, we got a Capricorn card. And Capricorns are known for doing the most. <laughs> so this is to read a book about an ambitious slash determined character. This one was a little bit tricky. I had to think about it because obviously I haven't read the books yet. So I don't really know if the characters are super ambitious or super determined. So this is just what I believe and what I've heard about these characters. I can't decide between these two books but they're both like gothic novels which i thought was interesting i just kind of chose them randomly but they're both gothic books so definitely going to read one of these i'm excited for both of them so the first one we have is tripping arcadia by kit mayquist this is such a beautiful cover like i said this is a gothic novel following this girl who is a medical school dropout she decides to become this assistant to this doctor or surgeon He's some, some sort of, I know he's a doctor, but I don't know if he is a surgeon, but he becomes, she becomes his assistant and she finds out that this family that she starts to work for caused the downfall of her family and she decides to take revenge. And that to me sounds like a very determined character. So I'm super excited about this one. The other option that I had was the Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. So this one, I just know it's about a girl who, um, marries this guy out of like convenience the calculations and decided that the most secure path forward is a husband a marriage of convenience who will allow her to remain independent and occupied with meaningful work so to me both of these sound like determined ambitious uh, women so I can't decide between either of those I'm super excited for both so we will see all right spin number two Libra. I feel like we haven't gotten Libra in a while, okay? Libra. Hey, the scales. Use this last, wait, and choose a book that will balance your genres. Okay, so this one will you, we will pick the book out last, okay. Okay, so the next one we got was a Libra card. So the Libra symbols are scales. So for this one, you have to um, use this last and then choose a book that will balance the scale. So what I mean by this when I wrote this prompt is that like at the very end, after I choose all the rest of the books, I'll kind of look at the genres and then choose a genre that is not in that pile basically that'll kind of balance it out so i'm not reading the same things so we will come back to this one after i pick out the rest of the prompts i hope that makes sense all right spin at number three Ooh. okay well <laughs> okay sagittarius nice 
it says wanderlust read a book set somewhere you wish you could go okay that's a good one okay so spin at number three we landed on a sagittarius and sagittarius is sagittarii they um love to travel so this one is the wanderlust card so this is to read a book set somewhere you wish you could go so for this one i'm definitely going to pull in one of my booker prize tbr books and for that one i'm going to go with night crawling this book is set in california and oakland and i desperately want to go to california in fact i am planning my next vacation at the end of the month actually which is wild to go to california i'm super excited the synopsis so you're following this girl something happens you're not quite sure but she gets taken by the police and she decides to they offer her a deal and this deal like changes her life puts her family at risk and i don't know it just sounded so good so um intense and i've actually so this cover is the one i bought this cover from book depository because it's beautiful but this cover i have seen everywhere but it never caught my eye like at all i, I like glanced at it and then like didn't even didn't catch my attention um but yeah i'm super excited to read this i think it's gonna be great so this is gonna be my choice for that one okay spin number four oh my gosh okay i'm gonna put it back <laughs> spin at number four It's not Libra, but that one. Ooh. Okay, that one is like kind of in the middle. So what I'm going to do is someone suggested this as a comment, and I think it's a really fun idea. So you basically take a card from Libra and we'll take a card from Scorpio and then try to find a book that fits both prompts. So let's do that. So we got Libra and Scorpio. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay, so the Libra card says indecisive subscribers choose my next read okay but it has to oh a, it needs to be a mystery thriller and we got a star so i have to do another spin okay so you all will help me choose a mystery slash thriller to read okay that's actually kind of exciting and then let me do another spin all right so spin number four it was an interesting one we landed kind of in the middle of libra and scorpio and i got this comment um i think it was on my january TBR this year when I asked for recommendations of how to like change up my game or if you had any suggestions and someone said that if you land in the middle of two prompts instead or if two signs instead of spinning again draw cards from each sign and then try to find a book that fits both and I thought that was so fun so I've been waiting for it to happen so we could do it so I drew a Scorpio card and I drew a Libra card and for the Libra card they are very indecisive so this is to read a so this is to have my subscribers so you all will choose this read and for this scorpio they have an air of mystery about them so that is to read a mystery or thriller so i have four options here i'm going to put a poll on my like community page i'll try to link it down below if i can um if not you can just like go to my community page and find it and you all can vote for the book that i the mystery thriller book that i will read and i will definitely try to do a vlog i can't promise but i will try to do a reading vlog for it and then of course the scorpio card has a little star on it so that means we have to do another spin the books that i chose um if you are new to my channel or you're not quite sure i'm not the biggest fan of thrillers um i do love a good mystery but i'm not the biggest fan of thrillers so this will actually be kind of good for me to get to the few thrillers that i have um okay so the first one i have is when no one is watching by Alyssa cole i have been meaning to get to this forever i just know this is like about gentrification and i think people start people start to go missing in this neighborhood in brooklyn i believe very excited about this one so this is an option we have this classic thriller that i have yet to get to behind her eyes by sarah pimbro no idea what this is about i believe it's like a domestic thriller and all i hear is that the ending is wild and you either love it or hate it and i really really want to know what the twist is next one i have is in my dreams i hold a knife by ashley Winstead or Winstead. This was a gift from one of my subscribers, which was so sweet. And I just know it says six friends, one college reunion, one unsolved murder. Sounds great. The last one I have is more of a literary thriller, and that is The Other Black Girl by Zakia Dalia Harris. So this one is following this girl. She works at this publishing company, I believe, and she's the only black girl until they hire another black girl. Um, the other black girl and then I think 
creepy things, thriller things are happening. This gives me like get out vibes. So these are the options that you have to choose from. Definitely um, vote so that I can read it. And yeah, I'm actually excited. Hopefully the last spin. Sagittarius again. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Oh God. Okay, ruled by Jupiter, read a book, read a big book, greater than 500 pages. Okay. All right, so for our fifth and final spin, we got another Sagittarius card, right? Didn't we get another? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got another Sagittarius card and they are ruled by Jupiter. So since Jupiter is the biggest planet, you have to read a big book. You see what I did? <laughs> so you have to read a big book over 500 pages. So for this one, I am going to cheat just a little bit. It's I promise the book is super close to 500 pages, but it's just not quite there. And it's one of the Booker Prize long lists, so I'm just going to put this one in its place. And that is Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies by Maddie Mortimer. So this copy is only 438. Ooh. Just let it count, just let it count. <laughs> So I'm super excited about this. Um, this one you're following this woman who finds out that she has cancer and part of the book is told th through the perspective of cancer which I just think is so fascinating. It's such an interesting idea and then I didn't know this until I bought the book and started, I started reading, I already started reading it. <laughs> started reading it because I was too excited. Um, but some of it is told in like verse and told very strangely. Um, some of it looks like it's plays. It's told with like different fonts. Um, I'm trying to find an example. Some of it, the writing is kind of written strangely. Like here, some of the text is scattered. Um, I don't know if you can see, it has like different fonts. Some of it's told, I think I said in verse. I'm just like very curious. Like I said, I started it already and the writing is amazing. So I cannot wait to get to this. So I hope you guys will allow me to count this as a big book. <laughs> so we have to go back to the second spin, which was the Libra card, and that is the scales. So we have to balance out the genres of books. So we have a mystery thriller, which you all are going to choose from. We have a gothic novel, we have two literary fictions, because we're gonna have maps of our spectacular bodies and we're gonna have night crawling. So the things that we're missing, we can do a science fiction, we can do a fantasy, we can do romance, historical fiction, a nonfiction even could count. I feel like those are the genres that I haven't done that would be a good balance. I feel like horror is too close to the gothic books and the mystery mystery thriller books. I'm not really in the mood for a sci-fi. I'm leaning towards fantasy because there is a fantasy that I recently bought and it's short <laughs> that I would like to read. So let me get that one. So the fantasy book that I am think we're gonna go with is Nettle and Bone by T. King Fisher. I recently bought, bought this book um, with one of the Barnes and Noble sales. I don't know, I'll link the vlog down below where I go shopping. It's my summer ween vlogs, yes. I've never read a T. King Fisher, but I keep hearing about them on booktube. People seem to really enjoy the writing, so I really, really wanna get to this. And like I said, this one is more of a fantasy and it's a fairy tale where the princess marries, oh wait, this isn't the kind of fairy tale where the princess marries a prince, it's the one where she kills him. Sounds lovely. And this is the most beautiful book I've ever seen. Beautiful, I'm sure you've seen this, this is so stunning. So I think we're gonna go with this one, add a little bit of fantasy and have a nice little short Okay, so that is the end of my Zodiac TBR game. There are a lot of books, I feel like. There's a, there's a lot of books. Hopefully <laughs> I can get to them. Ooh, I don't know, I feel pretty motivated, especially with my Booker Prize. Um, Booker Prize books with Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies and Night Crawling. We have our fantasy book, I'm trying to remind you all. We have one of these gothic, um, gothic novels. I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards Tripping Arcadia, but we'll see. And then of course, one of my mystery thrillers, which I will definitely try to do a reading vlog for one of these. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the Zodiac TBR game, but let me know if I pulled your sign, if you agree with the props, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.